welcome to the next edition of ETA's Transaction Trending Podcast. Today, we're talking about the exciting world of AI and Gen AI in payments. Joining me today is Russell Moore, who's the Director of Corporate Strategy and Development at Global Payments. He is also the business lead at the Center of Excellence for Gen AI at Global Payments. Russell, welcome. Thank you, Scott. Good to be here, as usual. Welcome. Glad to have you. So AI has been used by the payments industry for decades. Uh, it, we usually just call it computing. What's new on the scene is generative AI. And if Russell, if it's okay with you, I'd like to focus on generative AI and the intersection with payments. Of course. So the first, the first question to get us started, Russell, is what's the most exciting development in generative, generative AI as, as being deployed by the payments industry? Well, it's not just the payments industry. It's it's just the industries themselves as chatbots. Those are the things that are really taking hold and they're allowing for how you interact with, uh, you know, payments institutions or all businesses for that matter. Um, just seeing that go, you know, this really started back in July last year and they've progressed much further and they're starting to actually interact with, with consumers and customers that is growing at an exponential rate. And it's, it's beyond exciting what, what these things are starting to be capable of and, and the numbers of the interactions that are actually happening for, no, for chatbots. I, 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 that's, that is exciting. I think one bank has reported that its chatbot had over 2 billion with a B interactions with their customers. So I'm yep. sure those and that'll be, there. that'll become commonplace in, in business as usual. Excellent. All right. So with opportunities comes risks and challenges and uh, AI has less so, but generative AI certainly has its challenges. Can you share with us, Russell, what are some of the biggest challenges facing the integration of Gen AI in the payment sector? It's it, just like you said, we've been doing, you know, AI or traditional AI for, for years and years. The challenges are no different. How do you keep your data secure? How do you keep those services safe? These are new ingress egress points into these businesses. And it's it's no different than what we've been doing. We are good at, you know, doing transactions from A to Z and keeping that information safe. And then, you know, from an AI perspective, a traditional AI perspective, we've always dealt with biases. And so words that you'll hear quite a lot with, with generative AI. But now there's another word that's called hallucinations. So making sure that these models that underlie generative AI, they call them LLMs, large language models, making sure that they are not hallucinating. That is really one of the new uh, things to this technology that, that we are combating. Uh, but it's, it's things that we're putting in place. But at the end of the day, it's, it's still no different than what we've been doing since really day one. And that's keeping the, the data secure and making sure that the services work and they're up and the users get the experience that they want. So it's really not changed. Awesome, makes sense. All right, so then uh, to wrap us up, our final question for you today, Russell, is where do you see generative AI taking the payments industry in the next, I would, normally I would say five to 10 years, but the technology is moving so fast. I'm gonna say six to nine months. You know, How should we think about the future of generative AI and payments? What's next? I think the things that we're going to see the most are the automation of it. Uh, it's it's hard to see a future where there's still not human in the loop. It's the nature of our business. You know, we we handle financial transactions. We handle, you know, you know, very secure data, and having a human in the loop is is ultimately how you you combat a lot of the issues. But you will see these technologies become more autonomous. And then they'll start moving into the background. So, you know, today you go to a point of sale, you pull out your phone or, or your card for that matter, but you pull out your device and you you are forcefully interacting with these devices and these these POSs. Uh, you'll see that go into the background where you really no longer have to think about it. And a lot of those uh, capabilities will be powered by generative AI. They will be in the background doing all the things that you don't really need to think about anymore and then from a, an institutional perspective, you know, the automation and the optimization, that'll speed up as well. Uh, at some point, it'll be hard to distinguish if you're speaking to a person or a, a chat bot. Uh, that'll, that's coming in the future very soon. Uh, even today, it's actually kind of hard. It takes a minute to, to figure out if you, if you are or not. And those are the seamless interactions, the seamless interfaces that we'll see. Those are the things that are going to be really driving the technology. Well, we're certainly glad you could join us in person and not send a chatbot. I am a chatbot. You don't like it's hard <laughs> to tell. Can can you tell? 
and we'll, and we'll actually have to combat that too, right, Scott? Those will be things anyway. that we'll have to look at. How can you tell if it if it's uh, which goes along with the fraud and and all those issues that that come along with payments? So how do you combat those? Because as this technology grows and gets better, you know that side of the house does, and it's always it'll always be a you know this side grows and that size grows, and and how to make sure that we're making sure that this information is safe and secure. And even, even your image and your, in your videos will have to be the same thing. Well, it's something that the payments industry is very good at doing. Oh, very good. Yep. Indeed. Yep. Indeed. So Russell, just to wrap up, in addition to all of the titles that you and roles you play at Global Payments, you're also the chair of the ETA AI committee. Uh, so as the chair of the committee, you help set the agenda along with your co-chairs. Uh, we are looking at the second half of 2024 can you share with us some thoughts on how the ETA AI committee is talking about these topics? What topics are they talking about and how uh, others can part can benefit from the rest of the payments industry can benefit from the work that the ETA AI committee is doing? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the first half of 2024, we really spent a lot of time educating ourselves and the members of the AI committee on what generative AI is. How does it work? How does it differ differentiate itself from what we call traditional AI, which is something I don't actually agree with. It's just it's just AI. But we spent a lot of time. Uh, we had several uh, guest companies and speakers come in uh, that were experts in it, and we'll continue that through the, throughout the year. But what we're really doing now is we're going to start uh, start to focus on specific topics, and typically. Uh, those topics are introduced by the members of the group. They will want to say, hey, we want to focus on fraud or we want to focus on, you know, some other aspect or generalization of generative AI. And we'll bring in experts. Uh, it'll either be the chairs or, you know, we have lots of of really good industry experts that's, that's come in and, and spoke with us on it. So, yeah, it'll be as we progress into 24, it'll be more topic specific. But we always try to have one or two really good topics that we that we hit on um, and then have the the experts come in and really delve deep into them uh, so you can get that benefit. But really good stuff. We have a really good time on the committee. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your leadership. And I'll just add that a lot of what gets discussed at the AI committee flows into ETA's policy work uh, in the in Washington and the states as well as Canada dealing with the, the issue of artificial intelligence. Yeah, we we spend a lot of time, Scott, looking at those bills as they come through. And, you know, as you know, because you ask, uh, you know, the opinions for the ETA and, and and what we think good or bad about those, because most of them, you know, regulation is is viewed as good. So, you know, how is it that that'll benefit or, you know, the things that will do? So we do look at that quite a bit from a ETA perspective, from a committee perspective. Oh, we appreciate it. All right, Russell Moore, we appreciate your time today. We appreciate your leadership on the committee as well as at Global Payments on this topic and others. Thank Always a pleasure, Scott. Thank you, sir.